Hello everyone. I decided to record a video in order for you to not pull your hair when you're trying to answer question number 10 in our problem set number 8. Um, if you go back to your textbook where the Kruskal-Wallis test is described, you see on page 339 that they talk about how if you find significant results on the Kruskal-Wallis test, you need to follow up with a men whitney test with Bonferroni correction. So what I'm going to do here is show you how to do those multiple comparisons with a non-parametric test. And what I'll do is do something a little different than what the book is asking you to do, which is to go to analyze non-parametric tests. And the book tells you to go to legacy dialogues. I am going to pick, there's different ways for us to get to the same tests. So for this, I'm going to show you how slick it is to get those multiple comparisons by going to this independent samples option. And then you're going to see this dialogue opening and you need to move across these blue bars here. So first we're going to go to field. So we're going to move the variables to the right places. So the test field is going to be my dependent variable, which is autonomy score. And my group assignment is going to be my groups variable. Then I'm going to move up here from fields to settings. And here I'm going to click on customize tests. And I am going to pick the Crusco Wallace test. And this is pretty much it. Then I'm going to click on run here. So when you do that, <clears throat> You get that hypothesis testing for the Crusco Wallace test, and you see that here the p value is 0 0.000, and it's highly significant. So, what you do here is check this out. I'm going to double click on this box. It says right there, double click to activate. And I'm just gonna, let's see if I can make my window a little. I'm actually going to just focus on the window here on the right because that's what you need to see. But I got to move it down a little bit because you got to see the, the options at the bottom of this menu. So here you're going to get more information about the Crusco Wallace test. You get the total N, the test statistics. So from this table here, it's a similar table that you get when you go through the legacy dialogues. So you can use this to report your age to. Um, you have your test statistic, which is right here, 58.59. So these data are going to be important for you to report. But then check this out. At the bottom here where it says view, it says independent samples test view. If I click on this arrow down here, there is an option at the bottom that says pairwise comparisons. That's what I'm going to click. And voila, you get the pairwise comparisons. And if you notice down here, it says significance values have been adjusted by the Bonferroni correction for multiple tests. So you don't even need to go into men. We need to do anything. So here it's comparing the nurse staff with patients, nurse staff with nurse administrator, and patients with nurse administrator. So it's doing all three different comparisons that you can have with these groups and here the p-value that you're interested in is the adjusted p-value which is the one in yellow highlighted in yellow here so this is the one that is corrected uh, using the Bonferroni correction okay so this is what you can report when you're talking about the differences between the different groups of people I hope this is helpful for you and please let me know if you have any other questions as you're going through this homework